Hi there, today we're going to take a look at Loop Inc. The time travel theme was really was open for a long time. There, is, there was not a good game that would bond with a the theme. With Loop Inc. I can feel that it might be the game. Here you work for the Loop Incorporated company and you offer rights for customers to the past or to the future. And you need to be the best and make the most profit. So, let me show you this game. So here's the setup for two players. Each player has his own workshop right here. Uh, we're gonna load components onto the ships and then send our ships to different locations in the past and of course get some points. Now, uh, the game is played over the course of three days. These are the three rounds. And each round is different. Each round you're gonna play a different number of turns. Now what you're gonna do first is you're gonna activate your ships. On the first day you're gonna activate only one ship and on the second day two ships, on the third day you're gonna activate all three ships. Now I'm gonna activate my ship, the, my opponent is doing the same. Now we can play actions. What you can do on your turn is that you can first of all uh, grab a new card, these are the actions right here, or, a play, or play a pass card. Now on the first round you don't have any pass cards, so you're gonna play a new card. You're just gonna grab the card, do what it says, and put it in front of you right there. For example, this one is a garage. It says that I can take a wheel or a propeller component from the garage. I'm gonna take a propeller and attach it to my ship right here. So I'm, I want to get components that match the symbols right here on some locations. For example, Escape Pompeii. I'm gonna get four points if I'm gonna travel to this location. But I need these resources on the ship. Ah, it's, it's really it's really simple here. Now uh, I played the cards, then my opponent played a card. Now I'm gonna play another card. All right, maybe I'll take the. Uh, I saw that there's the armor needed, so I'm gonna play the armor. I I will take the armor token and so on. So when I have played uh, three cards, uh, the round will end. So on the first day you're gonna play only three cards. Let's say I have played um, these three cards in that order. So I'm gonna take them here. I'm gonna place them place them in my hand in the same order. I'm sorry. This was the, this was the first. I'm placing them the same order as I, ha I have played them. Now, when the new round begins, uh, we have new tokens. Now we have two ships available. You can either play the card of the past or play a new card. Now you're gonna play six total cards. You have to play all these three cards from the past and then you will play three new cards. Now the thing about this one is that you have to play these cards in the order that you played them previously. But You, you can mix and match uh, between new and uh, old cards. For example, I can play one old card, uh, then play one new card, then play one old card again, but these old cards must be, for example, uh, I must play garage before my armory cards and my armory card before the trash cards. That's really simple. And when you have played the second round, you already have, let's say like that, you already have six cards. Now, the first three are in the same order, the second three are in particular order, and then you're going to play all six cards on the third day plus three new cards, so nine cards total, nine turns. So you have to plan ahead, you have to be sure that uh, everything will work out. Now, what's your, what are you trying to do? You wanna get some points, of course. And some cards are just getting components on the ships. And for example, you, I already showed you, if you wanna get to that location, for example, you have to get these components. And each day, each turn, you have an option to send the ship there. For example, if I, oh, let's say I have this ship, I only have these components from that card there. Let's say I wanted to uh, launch a ship, I will just take the token of the active ship and launch it right there. I will uh, not discard any components, I have them, I have bought them, but I will get four points. So I'm a green, I'll get four points. Now, um, the second player can also go there but if he goes there, he will get the penalty. 
There are different th interesting things also. For example, the card uh, advertise. Uh, you can place an ad token on any, let's say, day on any location there. So what it means, before I launch my ship, so I will play the advertise token or a card, then I'll place the advertise token right here. And when I launch my ship on the same spot, I will get an additional point. So that's the thing. Now, if I will advertise and will not uh, reach that location, or I, I like, I don't know, I misread something, I didn't get the exact components that I need there, and the advertise token is still there, I'll turn it over and get minus three points. I'm going to put it in that penalty box right here. Also, if I have um, overload of components, for example, there are only two components that I need, but I have two other components that I don't need in that location, these components will be dropped off and will become also a minus point. So there are things how to get the negative points. Now, each time when you cannot do anything, or, for example, I, I, will play, I have to play an armory card, I had it from the past day, I have to play it, but there's no armor here, then I still have to play it, I cannot get the armor, but I will get the uh, tier token. Tier token is a space continuum sort of a crash there, and each token will uh, give me minus points. The first will give me minus one, the second will bring me minus three, and the third one minus six. And if I will get the fourth tier token by miscalculating something, then I will be out of the game. But I think it's unlikely in this game to, get, to be out. Now, uh, there are different extras that you can have in this game. For example, let me see here. Oh, here we have animalis. Uh, at the end of each day, you're gonna put out a particular number of animalis. These are the the same like the same action cards as here, but we, uh, with a bit of different actions. These are a bit special actions. Like for example, echo, repeat a card you have already played this day, or remove an ad token from any trip. For example, you see that you have ad you have advertised token right there, but you cannot go there, so you will get minus three points. You play this card, you will get rid of that ad token, and you will be good with that. And I would recommend to play with Animalis. And there are some other cards like um, Office cards. These are some points at the end of the game, depending on, uh, what, on what order they're, in what order they are. But this will be replaced, um, or the trash cards will be replaced with Office cards. As some actions uh, make you switch components between your ships, or trash some components, or replace components uh, from ship with uh, central board components. So there are different actions that you can do. And there's also one another addition there is the um, future cards. Now, these are the past cards, all the past locations. And now we have future locations. The future locations are really cool because um, they're going to, I'm sorry, right here. They are going to give you an action if you launch a ship there. Now, the other ones will just give you straight points. This one, will, these locations will give you points and will give you action as well. For example, you may discard an ad from the penalty box. That's great. You're gonna get uh, your free points back. And then may take a move action. That's great. You're gonna take a move action without taking a card, without, uh, I don't know, screwing with your programming there. And that's basically, that's how you play the game. You'll play the game over the course of three rounds. And whoever has the most points on this track right there is the winner of the game. So, first of all, components, components, components. Yes, uh, there's a minor issue for me. Uh, the cards, they are they're really good quality. They are thick, uh, they have linen finish but they are like super duper mega lean and finish you know uh, it's really noisy when you shuffle them and they're really hard to shuffle and they also stick together i, I don't know just the, the feeling is a bit weird you know evil griffin games tried really hard to make components perfect there is you know there's always someone who will complain oh yeah 
But on a positive side, I would say that the insert that they have is really, really good. Let me show you right here. We have all the stuff for the um, tokens and the cards. And then you have that sort of plastic thing that you put on here and everything will stay in their own trays. So I like it. I like it. Yeah, that's really smart. That's really great. About the theme. Many people can argue with me and say that it's not that thematic to buy pieces and put them on the ships to travel. Maybe. But the aspect that you take the actions back in your hand and you have to repeat them in the same order, oh my, it makes so much sense for the game. Yeah, it's like Groundhog Day. When you go back to the same day and you repeat these actions, but on the other hand you're doing something new, something even crazier, you get more points here and for example if you will travel through time and space some pieces may fall off and they uh, create cracks in the time space and give you minus points for that, of course. And for example if you have some actions that you need to, to do but you didn't plan well and there is you can't, like basically you have yeah, action, you can't, do, you the can't actions. do the action, that will create the tear in time, space, continue with, wow, yeah. great. It's, it's quite thematic for, for that game right here. The thing that I really like in the game, uh, but so many gamers might not like, is that it's pretty brain burning. First day, easy. Second day, thinky. Third day, when you have six actions, not enough pieces in the shops and garage, and you have to add three more cards. Wow, it's really brain burning. Well, my brain kind of exploded. Yeah, it's an uh, AP prone game. AP for, not, not for AP prone players, I would say. There's a lot of thinking on the third day. And uh, for me, it's on the, on the edge of that. So I'm okay with thinking that much in this game. Although sometimes, if it depends, if I want to win, I will think a lot. If if not, then I'll just enjoy the game. That's how it is. So I can turn off that brain burning problem. And there's one more thing that it's really good that you have only three days because if you would have fourth day, it would be too much. Yeah, it would be yeah a disaster. Like it's it's rather short game to be such a brain burning. So brain burning games should be short. That's perfect length. I'm a bit concerned that there might not be enough replay value for this game. Uh, you're doing all the same actions, you're set collecting uh, the resources, the resources are all the same, the cards are all the same. Uh, you can get out some uh, extra stuff, for example the uh, anomalies or office cards or uh, future locations, but there's not enough. I think there should be something more, some more special abilities for the players or something like that. It would make the uh, replay value higher. I won't agree, but I won't disagree. I don't know. He actually might be right. But I think it, this game will offer me, me personally, like enough fun before I would feel that. And about these additions, office cards, analysts and uh, future locations. Um, office cards are okay, you can add them or not, whatever, uh, the anomalies are really, really good. Uh, you should play with them, definitely. We once have played a game where we accidentally forgot to add them yeah. after the first day of the time travels. And oh my, don't play without yeah, them, yeah. just don't. The game felt samey, that's where the replay value may go higher if you add the anomaly cards, because they give you that sort of a crazy special abilities that aren't the same as, as the other cards. And the future locations, uh, when you travel there, you get the um, extra action. So it's always like a small bonus comparing to other locations and it makes the game feel a bit different and adds some more to the replay value. Yeah, and by the way, it actually adds a lot to the theme as well. If you uh, go to the future, you get something that you didn't have before. And after mm -hmm. your time travel, that kind of creates animalis, like Really? Yeah, yeah, that's great. This game gives really unique feel when repeating actions in the same order and actually getting stuck when deciding and looking for like the future turns. The games that Scott Arms creates, all of them or most of them have this something fresh feeling in them, what I really really like. 
yeah, yeah. The thing is that the mechanics might not be so. It's it's a set collection here, and the mechanics might not be that fresh. But it, this game gives me a different feel from all the other games that we have, and that's the thing. That's that's why what I search in games, what I want in games, that they give me a different feel. It doesn't matter if the mechanics are innovative or not. Yeah, and the, the, the theme, the theme is also great. The Tantronic. theme and the gameplay. So the gameplay, what you feel when playing the games, that these mechanics needs to be fresh, and yeah. that's fresh and unique. And that's the most important. Well, we have now the time travel game. There was one more theme that we don't have a good game for, and it's dinosaurs. Yeah. Well, um, although we have uh, another game right now, but the Great Dinosaur Rush is in a Kickstarter, and I think it will be a great addition to. That might be the game of the dinosaurs for us. Yeah, and probably for you also. So let's travel to the past when the game comes out and play some dinosaurs. It's not the game that I would suggest to every single person because that's not the game that would suit everybody. That's a really great game. So be really careful when you, when you look at it, when you decide. If you are fine with fresh and brain burning, then def it's a definite yes. Yeah, I like this game. Not as much as Elena, but as it gives me that different, unique feel. So I'm in. I'm just in. And time traveling. I, I want some good time traveling theme. So I would recommend that. Yeah, we really recommend. It's a good game. So, see you next time.